back to my channel it's Naela so today I'm showing you guys how I installed this full closure wig I made it myself I'm so proud of myself like this was like the first time I really just sat there and just made a wig myself and it came out great and I'm so happy this wig has the 7x7 closure with the HD lace and HD lace means it's a newer lace now that is like really thin I'm gonna show you guys but it's like a really thin lace so like the details in the lace, like the holes in the lace, you really cannot see because they're so small. So it means like HD, like you really can't see like the holes in the lace. So the lace really looks like your hairline. Like this really looks like my hair. I'm like so excited. But And it's two 16 bundles of water wave hair and 14 inch 7x7 seven seven HD closure. So that's all the specs on the hair. Um, I know you guys are going to be asking me where this hair is from, but it's my friend. She's making her own hair business. She's like creating it, so she gave me some hair to test out. And I've really been loving the hair. Like, I've had this wig on for maybe two, three weeks now. And it's really been good. Like, the hair, I've, I've been able to sleep in it. I sleep in my wigs when I like glue them down. So, I've been able to sleep in it. You know, the next day, just water it. And then this is like the curl pattern. It's so pretty like I really love this hair like it looks so good it's minimal shedding like very little shedding like usually with curly hair you get a lot of shedding or like somewhat shedding but I really got little to minimum no shedding so it's really good hair so whenever she comes out with her hair business which I'm so proud of her whenever she comes out with it I will definitely let you guys know okay y'all so this is me with the ball cap method done I just put a wig cap on cut it and put some of my foundation powder on the lace on the wig cap and this is me showing you guys the wig this is the HD closure the 7x7 HD closure you can tell how thin it is like it's really a really good lace like it's so see-through like you could barely see like look you could barely see any of the knots like I bleached it also but it looks so good. This is what I was telling y'all. Like, y'all need to get y'all a HC Lace, okay? Okay, so now we're into the tutorial. I'm starting off with Got To Be Free Spray. I, and a blow dryer, of course. I'm going to spray that. I do it in sections, so I spray the first part of the free spray like right on top of my head and make sure I'm making sure the cap is down because I did take it off to reinstall it so I'm making sure the cap is down right now and it's not lifting anywhere and I put the wig on my head find all I'm finding all the pieces to like adjust make sure everything's fitted right before I glue it down well not glue it down free spray is like a temporary hold so I will use that if I'm using it for like two to three two to four days then it'll start to lift then you could just free spray it back down that's why I like free spray but eventually I did glue like the top of this wig down but I didn't show that in this video but yeah this is me now putting more free spray on that top part and I'm going to put the lace down on top of it to secure that and you can see how well it just melts into my skin like Y'all, y'all really need to get some HD lace. Like, it's crazy. And I'm just doing each piece, piece by piece, spraying it down, making sure it's tacky and that it is down all the way. And y'all, I'm basically repeating the same steps for my whole head or the whole part of the closure. I'm just going to spray the free spray down, put the lace on it, blow dry, make sure it's tacky, and make sure it's down. So basically, you just repeat the same steps until the whole lace is down on your head.
Okay, y'all, so I'm using this hot comb. I got it from the Beauty Supply. It was around like $20. It was actually pretty cheap, but I want to buy another hot comb that's a little more expensive because this doesn't get as hot as I want it to, but it still does the, does the job for now. But I am flattening the top of the wig. I like to make sure my wigs are flat at the top. That's how you get the most natural look is by having a flat wig top. So I'm just making sure everything is flat. There's no bumps, no lumps, nothing's poofy. Okay, y'all. So now I am about to spray my hair down with some water. And this is just going to define my curls a lot. It'll just get rid of the big poofy hair look. And I like to do this all the time. Even when I'm just like waking up, it'll make your, your curls just like revive themselves and just look better. So I'm going to be spraying my whole head with this water using this water bottle. Just got it from like Dollar Tree or something. It was a dollar. And yeah, so I'm going to be spraying the whole hair. Look at the curls. Like, the curls are so pretty. I love this hair. And now I'm using the Lotta Body Mousse. I put this on my curls to define them and they stay defined longer if you put mousse on them. If you just water your hair down, it's going to, when you go outside, it's going to poof back up. Like, the curls are just going to get bigger. So the mousse helps the curls stay defined and stay curly longer, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it just keeps the hair down longer than just watering the hair down. So I really like this mousse. It's a, it smells good also. I just got this from the beauty supply also. But I'm just going to be doing the same steps from that side to the other side. Using the spray and the mousse over it. And you can just tell like the difference between the spray and the mousse makes from the other side too. is the wig after I put it on I've added some baby hairs like later on you know I've plucked the closure some I've put like heat on the hair to make it flat and yeah this is the side this is how it looks so yeah it looks really good I really love this wig like I said in the beginning the hair is really nice and full like this is just two bundles and it looks really full. Like, it's not, like, a lot of hair. Like, it looks, like, really big on me. It looks, like, very natural, but it's still very full. So, I'm very excited to show you guys her company whenever she decides to make it. But thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you want more hair videos. I will be making more wigs, like, more wigs in the future. So, let me... got. So, let me... So, let me know what you guys think about this wig. And I will be making more wigs in the future. 
So let me guys know if you want me to make a video of how I make my wigs or more installation videos. This was my first installation kind of video. So give me some tips on how you guys liked it. I will be doing like more installation videos just to show you guys more in depth of like different hair textures and all that stuff. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 200 subscribers, which I'm so excited about. Thank you guys so much. Road to 1000, but you know, right now we're just on a slow, you know, good pace, but slow, but good pace. But I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for believing in me. Like, this has really been such a great journey with my channel. It's been really nice meeting you guys, having you guys show love on all my videos. But I'm so excited for the future. So thank you guys for subscribing and make sure you watch my last video. I will have it on the side. But thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.